bony fish and tetrapods are classified together in a group known as the Osteichthians. The earliest Osteichthians were ancient fish, first known from the Silurian period and the Devonian period. These uh, ancient Osteichthians were unlike the fish of today, and although bony fish are the most common fish today, making up more than 25,000 species of fish, the group of bony fish which we find today in, in the oceans, the teleosts, these are not uh, the type which made up the first Osteichthian fishes. Instead, only a few species have survived since uh, the early groups of Osteichthians. Among these are the sturgeon, the fish pictured in the first videos here, gar, and from a slightly later group, bowfin. So when we look at sturgeon and gar, and uh, we're seeing remnants of an ancient group of bony fish known as the chondrostians, and when we uh, look at bowfins, we're looking at a remnant of uh, the primitive Neopterygian fish. The group which dominates today in the bony fish are called teleos, and they are uh, different in their scales, in their swim bladder, in their uh, skulls, their jaw muscles. They're different in so many ways compared to these early fish. So the fish that you see here are, in a sense, living fossils, the last living remnants of uh, the earliest groups of bony fish which do not dominate uh, today. These fish plus the teleos, which once again make up virtually all modern fish, are a group of Osteichthians known as the ray fin fish or actinopterygian fish. They are so called because they have cartilage rays in their fins, and the muscles which move the fins are located in the body wall rather than the fin itself. This is different from the group of fish which evolved into the amphibians. That group was known as the sarcopterygian fish, or the lobe fin fish. They had bones within their fins and muscles in their fins which moved these bones. Of the two groups of bony fish, the ray fin fish, or actinopterygians, make up almost all modern fish, while the second group, the sarcopterygian, or lobe fin fish, uh, these were never common. There are a few species which exist today, but this group was the ancestor of the amphibians.